1931 law banning abortion remains in effect, and if Michigan courts decide to reinstate that law, some local business owners and leaders say it'll have a negative impact on the economy. 13 On Your Side's Andrea Flores is here now with their explanation and reaction. Juliet, while some say that an abortion ban will only make the current labor shortage worse, others believe that children and families are a driving economic force. While abortion is legal in Michigan right now, Hannah Schultz with People First Economy, a nonprofit that helps out local small business owners, says some are worried about their bottom line if that changes. The challenges to afford products and services and all the things that it takes to run a business, not to mention paying a reasonable wage to your employees. There aren't, a, there's not very much wiggle room to provide additional benefits to employees. There's not much wiggle room to provide a good living wage. It's not just about providing for employees and their health care, but keeping a full staff, especially if they can't find affordable child care. So if we are forcing more women to give birth, then we're going to continue seeing that, that shortage without addressing the issues that are causing that shortage. State Senator Winnie Brinks agrees and believes that an abortion ban can contribute to Michigan's declining population. When we get things like this that uh, are really an, um, uh, an encouragement for people to move away, that's working against our best interest. I think that having children is a good economic boost. Right to Life Legislative Director Geneve Marnin says legal abortion hasn't helped the economy. We've had 50 years of legalized abortion and yet poverty is still pretty uh, uh, pretty prevalent and pretty stubborn. And she says we're currently feeling the effects of nearly 50 years of legal abortion. Every single store has a help wanted sign. Well, look back 20 years ago and we, you know, we aborted 20 percent of our entire uh, would have been newborn population, right? And it's now having an impact on our economy with the lack of workers. Both Brinks and Schultz agree that more workers is not the solution. You won't see those workers for about 18 years. Any economic success that someone might, uh, that a community might experience from this really could come at the expense of women, could come at the expense of, of uh, as you mentioned earlier, the, the households that are having a much more difficult time making ends meet. Uh, and it could disproportionately impact uh, brown and black people. And uh, that's simply not okay. Now, all three agree that employers do need to consider more family-friendly policy changes, like expanded health care and child care benefits, as well as maternity and paternity leave. Juliet. Thank you, Andre.